I have a four-digit code memorized to turn my cell phone on. It's important not to forget it, as entering it incorrectly three times would require an additional eight-digit code to unlock the device. I have three bank accounts and three times four digits in my head assigned to each to say nothing of the PIN code for my credit card. To sign into my email account, I have an eight-digit password made up of numbers and letters, upper and lowercase, with an app symbol randomly thrown in instead of a vowel for extra security. <laughs> I have a completely different password for business and an email address attached to that password. I have another email address which I use for forms I suspect might inundate me with direct mail advertising. I have a password for YouTube, as well as subscription information for the Times Online. I recently joined a social networking site to find out what the name was posting on the wall about. <laughs> it then asked me to create another password. It had the cheek to tell me my password was too weak, and I couldn't use my own name as a login because it had already been taken into some this predicament by the to settle for being a 23rd me. <laughs> to submit my poetry online, I was asked to describe another cipher, as was the demand of some mishmash. Then Amazon required another, as did logging into my workstation, updating my iTunes, using online banking, renting a DVD, using a free city bike, Twittering, using eBay, PayPal, and last but not least, checking voicemails left in my absence. When we sat for dinner the other night at the end of the week, she closed up and would not let me in. Silence always being her loudest statement. So I assessed the situation from across the table, and I knew immediately what to do. I tried a four-digit code, but no. <laughs> I tried an eight-digit code, but no joy. I tried the same eight-digit code, but replaced the vowels with act symbols, frantically rearranging the order of each, but still, the doors remained shut. I thought of my first pet's name and tried that. I tried my date of birth, my mother's maiden name, her surname spelled backwards, and two of the words that are common to at least three of my passwords, but zilch. I tried the name of my favorite teacher. I tried my Liger card number, my frequent flyer number, the name of the song we first played out to, the band that wrote it, but still there was no way into her. So I fingered her neck for a reset button, and she sat my hand away. <laughs> Naturally, I sat back startled, racking my brain for the golden ticket, letting her know I was racking my brain with that deliberate lust look in my eyes that men had perfected over the millennium. <laughs> I checked to see if the caps lock was on. I checked my phone to see if I had masked any codes as text messages in Irish. But there was still no way in to her. I was midway through changing the batteries on the mouse when I realized that I'd forgotten the words I needed for her. She changes them every day to keep me on my toes. <laughs> Such simple, uncomplicated words like gorgeous, wonderful, love. Simple, uncomplicated words. But try as I did, oftentimes frantic, most times glib, those words just never entered my head. <laughs>